This is Danny. Let's take a look at how to work with masks in CDAS. I have a level 2 file opened with a chlorophyll and an SST in it. And we see a correlation in the temperature here because of the Gulf Stream. So we're going to work with masks to try to uh, look at that Gulf Stream data. So let's go to the Mask Manager, expand the window so we can see it all. We'll see the land mask. These masks already come with the level two file. So we can view the mask by toggling it on and off. That's the land. We can adjust the color. Let's set it to black. Uh, I'd like to point out over here in the pixel info, all our flag values are available. So for every pixel, we have flags. And these flags are what ultimately create the masks over here. So we can make a composite mask over here of many masks. So let's determine which flags we want to use and make a composite of all these flags. So to highlight these, we click in the middle so, and hold the Option key. So let's, let's get Land and let's get Coastal Z. We'll get Cloud Ice, Turbid Water, We'll get the ATM worn. Let's go over here. These are shortcuts here. Create a union of the selected masks. So let's click that, and we have a new mask. And if we toggle this on and off, we, we see the colors here for the mask. And what we've just created is what we're going to deem the not valid ocean. So we'll call this not valid ocean. Now we can make a valid ocean mask, which would be the opposite of this. So we can select it and we can go find the complement right there, create the complement, turn that off. And now we see this is the valid ocean. Call it valid ocean. If we want to only see the valid ocean, then we turn that off, obviously. We can turn this mask on, and then we can adjust the color. Let's set this to gray. It's a normal value for no data. And let's go ahead and set the transparency. This column is the transparency. You can't fully see it there, but if you ex expand it, you could. We'll set that to zero. And so now we can turn off the land if you want. We're only seeing the valid ocean data. Let's turn the land back on. So let's go further into this and separate out based on the band values. So let's create a mask using th this uh, expression editor here. Here we can see all the flags. Let's turn those off and let's look at the bands. And let's go look at SST. We can click here, it gives us the SST band. And we're going to say, where that's greater than or equal to 25 degrees Celsius. We click OK, and we now, let's leave that, um, and let's see what we've done. We, we've just made a mask where, where the value is greater than 25 degrees Celsius. Now this could be include any pixel we really want is valid ocean. So let's go ahead and edit this field. So to edit it, click on it and go to this pencil here to edit it. And we can type and, and now I want to get uh, my mask, turn off the flags and leave the masks on, which I just did go down here and get my valid ocean. So now we'll get the Gulf Stream. And let's name it. Gulf Stream. We could also, and, and, and so, so now if we toggle that on and off, we're seeing the Gulf Stream. We can also, if we want to view just the Gulf Stream, we want to make the complement of this. So let's go ahead and create the complement. And we'll call that not Gulf Stream, like we did before. Let's set this to a gray and the transparency to zero. 
don't need that. So now we're viewing just the Gulf Stream water. So at this point, the Gulf Stream, this, for visualization, this is our setup. But if we want to use statistics or some other tool, this is our region of interest mask right here. Toggle in it on and off. We see this is our Gulf Stream data. So if we go up to statistics here, click here, we can use region of interest mask. Let's go down and I got to expand the window. I want to select the Gulf Stream and go. And we've got statistics on that. More on that in later videos. So now we've made a mask, and we can additionally export this mask. So let's export it. We want to highlight the mask which we want to export. Holding down the Option key, let's get these four masks, and we'll export them. We have a name. Uh, it defaults to the first one, but this is uh, um, my golf masks. Save it. Okay, now if we go to File Manager, we can grab another file. And I will get a file that was seven days later. And open that, Chlorophyll. Go to Mask Manager. And if we click on the right one, Import. Import that masks. And that pulls them in. And now I can turn that on. I probably want to zoom out so I can see this. So once again, up here we had our land. And by default, it's that, but I can make it black. But the nice thing is, all our masks we made in the previous file are available in this new file. Also important to note, the masks we just imported have equations which are dependent on other masks. So if these masks are not in the new file, then these new masks won't work. That's about it for masks. You'll need them for statistics and an image display, and you can use them in the band maths tool up here to create bands based on masks. Also, if you're interested in a particular geometric area, you can use the geometry tools here to create masks of those areas. One last point is the description field right here contains the equation, but if you edit this field, you're not editing the equation, you're just editing the description. So don't make that mistake. To edit the equation, you need to go to this editor tool here. For more information, please visit the CDAS website.